What's going on guys, Icon here and in today's video we're going to be looking at this new pack that they dropped, the new Team of the Week cards and Devin Hester and making some upgrades. So for Team of the Week we're just going to be looking at the important ones, like the two highest overalls. Then we'll get to the upgrade and look at the Team of the Week set heroes. And then I'll show you the pack which guarantees you a 90 plus. So offense, it was Ben Roethlisberger defense, it was Sean Lee. So we're going to look at the defense first. Uh, we're going to go to Darian Stewart. Uh, I think he has 91 hit power as his best stat. So he has 84 speed, 86 excel, 91 play rec, 80 tackle, 79 man, 87 zone, 88 pursuit with 91 hit power. And he also has 72 caching. So he's a card. Um, if you do like the Broncos, you might pick him up. I know one of my friends does, but that is a pretty expensive card for an 89. And now we got the 91 for one short with 66 speed, 85 strength, 90 tackle, 92 block shed, 91 power move, 80 finesse, 91 play rec, and 90 pursuit. This card looks very good. He has the threshold for block shed and power move. Has that, what is that chemistry called? Physical front, which gives you block shed and pursuit. Now we're going to look at the offense, which is Big Big and Roethlisberger. So we're going to look at Jonathan Stewart, who I believe has like 92 jockey. He's got 85 speed, 87 agility, 91 excel, 88 carrying, 85 ball carry vision, 85 looseness, 92 trucking, and 86 juke. So he will be able to get to his top speed very fast with that 91 excel. He does have that 89 carrying, so he won't fumble as often. He doesn't hit the threshold, though. And I just want to look at his juking. Did I pass it? Yes, I did. He's got 86 juke with 89 stiff arm and 79 spin. So, his chemistry does give him carrying, so he could hit 90, but still not the threshold. Um, and now we're going to look at the 91 Jason Kelsey. And let's see what, he's going for 333k right now. He's got 87 strength, 90 run block, 87 pass block, 94 impact, which is very good, 92 awareness, 85 stamina. And he's super fast for a center, 75 speed, that's crazy. I expect, like, like some offensive tackles don't even have 75 speed. So that's crazy. Definitely a good card. Now we're going to go look at the set hero Sean Lee, the set hero Big Ben, and the new career tribute Devin Hester. Okay, so Ben Roethlisberger is going on for 520k. Uh, he's still kind of overpriced. Um, I haven't seen his stats though, so let's look at him. He has toughness times 2, 68 speed, 92 awareness, 93 throw power, 87 short, 89 mid, 89 deep, with 90 play action and 94 throw on the run. So he does look like a very good card. A little slow though, so I probably wouldn't get him. And he only hits the threshold for throw on the run and throw power. And he has toughness, so he won't get throwing stats. Uh, I wouldn't pick him up, but still a nice card to have in Madden. So now we're going to look at Sean Lee. Okay, so Sean Lee's going for about 600k. I don't know what he's actually selling for. But he has blanket coverage tier 2. And then he has 83 speed, 77 strength, 94 tackle, 94 play rick, 89 block shed, 82 power move, 82 finesse with 90 hit power. And I want to see his coverage stats because he is one of the best coverage linebackers in the NFL. He's 82 caching, that's really good. Um, I don't know why they give the defensive players such high run and pass block for some reason. Like look at that, he has 92 impact block. So he's got 82 power move, 82 finesse, and 89 block shed. So those are pretty good and his man is 85 zone is 90 so if you do have the Cowboys team chemistry you could get him up to 91 but blanket coverage is you man so it'll go up to 87 man so he looks like a very good card and now we're gonna look at Devin Hester's career tribute okay so Devin Hester is going for around 700k he might be selling for that I don't know but he has go deep times two and return man he just retired yesterday I think uh, he was on the Seahawks for a couple of years, uh, one of the best return men of all time. So he's got 95 speed, 85 catching, 96 elusiveness, 91 spec catch, 86 release, 88 route running, 85 catching traffic with 95 jumping. And I believe he has a very good juking and spin as well. Uh, he's got also got that 96 excel, so he's going to be flying down the field like Barry Sanders. And we're going to look at his juking and his spin move. Uh, his run block's like 60-some. I don't know. That's pretty good for a wide receiver, though. Uh, he's got 94 spin and 96 juke. That's just overpowered, bro. But this card looks amazing. Um, 
very great. If I did pull him, I would sell him just because he's going for 7k. Uh, probably won't pull him though. I'm probably not even going to open packs today. But we're going to upgrade our left tackle, our Walter Jones. Because we had the 91 that goes into the set. So we're going to get his 94 because all the prices did drop because of that pack. So I'll be back when I get him. Alright guys, so we bought all the missing pieces to the Walter Jones set. So now we're com going to complete this and we're going to open this pack. Now if you've never seen anyone complete a legend set, you there's four cards and then you just pick which chemistry you want. It's pretty cool actually. Um, I think we're going to go with uh, Pound the Rock though, because my team has a lot of Pound the Rock guys. So these are the four chemistries. Uh, we're going to end up choosing the Pound the Rock. So we just got the 94 Walter Jones that we're going to put on the team. And we're also going to make maybe one or two more upgrades. And I'll see you then. Alright, so we're going to be going to the power up sets because we just got Earl Thomas his team of the week card off the auction house and we're gonna upgrade him to tier 4 so we're gonna look at his stats after we upgrade him I already have his 91 power up and we just got this one so let's see what his stats are looking like oh his card looks so nasty so he's got 90 speed, 91 excel, 91 play rec, 85 tackle, 84 man, 92 zone, 88 pursuit with 89 hit power and he also has very good catching in 82. Um, this car's gonna be a monster. I already had hot hands on it, but now I have his 93. Probably gonna go up to a 94 in my lineup. Um, I don't know if Walter Jones will go up in overall. Um, I might make another upgrade. I'm not too sure. I was thinking about powering up Bobby Wagner or Richard Sherman, but their cards are Richard Sherman's still going for like 200k. But we're going to plug in Walter Jones and Earl Thomas into the lineup. So let's see what our lineup's looking like now. So here's Walter Jones. We did get ground and pound on him. He's looking like a beast. He goes up to a 96 overall. So he is our best player on offense. I think he's the best player on our team now. Because Sean Taylor's a 95. But I have him a strong, so he's a 93. Um... So with all the chemistry boost with the Seahawks training and the ground, or not ground and pound, pound the rock, he's just got amazing stats. It boosts his run block, pass block, impact, and awareness. All of them are 92 or better. So that's just, he looks like a monster now. So now we're going to plug in Earl Thomas at the free safety spot because we did just power him up. Still need to get Justin Burt's team leader, but those solos take forever. I don't know if I'm ever going to get him, but... We're plugging in Earl Thomas to the lineup, and he goes up to a 94. I like to see that, so now we're going to look at his stats when he's boosted. He does have the boosted stats on him are play rec, tackle, and zone and pursue, so he looks like a very good card. Um, they also have like boosted run block and stuff because they're all in Seahawks. I might get Seahawks training to tier 9 or tier 10. I'm going to try to get it to tier, or not I already have a tier 9. I'll try to get it to tier 11 because as you can see, well you can't really see it. It's at the bottom right of your screen. You can barely see it. It's cut off but tier 11 gives you one plus catching and one plus zone to all the Seahawks on my team. So I'm going to try to do that for sure. Still want to power up Bobby Wagner and Richard Sherman but I don't know if I'm going to do that, that this video. So we made some long, or not long, we made some good upgrades. I need to go put Walter Jones at the long snapper and I'll be back we are gonna buy the pack now we're looking to get something that's at least 100 I'm fine with losing 100k that's fine by me so we're gonna open this with coins I do not recommend this you're most likely gonna lose out on coins but let's buy this hopefully we pull something nice and we get a 90 overall Everson Griffin. All right, I don't know if that's good. I know he's the highest overall in that set. Um, what set does he go into? KC Hayward, week seven. So we're gonna look at his price. Um, I have no clue what he's going for right now. We're just gonna go to newest and then we probably are gonna save him and then wait till prices jump up just a little bit. But he's probably going for around, yeah, he's around 100K. 
Oh, he's only 70k. That that's that's an L. Um, he does have a power up. I could power him up if I wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. Maybe I will, cause I did pull him out of a pack. That that is one of my rules. Um, if I pull a car out of a pack, I can power him up. I could power him up if I wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna wait and sell him. Uh, not the greatest pull. Kind of wanted to pull a legend, but it's all right. But we're going to see if Richard Sherman and Bobby Wagner are on for their actual price. And then if they are, we'll power them up. If they're not, I'll just end the video. All right, guys. So I just completed all of Bobby Wagner's power-up sets and Richard Sherman. So we're going to add these to the tier 4. So we're getting Bobby Wagner up to a 92 overall. And he's probably going to be boosted in my lineup. So I'll show you his stats once he's into my lineup, same with Sherman, because we're just spinning coins today. Um, I don't know why I did this, but a lot of the prices dropped. That's probably the main reason why I did this. And we're upgrading Sherman right now. So his stats are pretty nice too. We are going to plug him into the lineup and see how they look in there. Okay, so we're back into my lineup. And as you saw earlier, we got Walter Jones and Earl Thomas. But now we're going to plug in Bobby Wagner and Richard Sherman into the lineup. So Bobby Wagner, we're going to look at his stats. And he goes up to a 93 in my lineup. So let's take a look at his stats. Compare him to Deion Jones. So he's got 85 speed, 94 awareness, 95 tackle, 94 play rec, 93 block shed, 95 pursuit, 87 zone, and 93 hit power. So Bobby Wagner is just a beast. He, he can blitz, he can cover, he can do it all. He's just a monster out there in the middle of the field. So now we're going to take a look at Sherman's stats, who we just upgraded. He goes up to a 93 as well. And let's look at his stats now. Compare him to our Earl Thomas, I guess. So he's got 87 speed, 88 excel, 92 agility, 88 man, 94 zone, 92 press with 93 play rec, and 84 caching, which is very good. Uh, these my team's just coming together real nice. Um, I might do a, yeah, we're gonna do some elite tokens to upgrade our Seahawks training all the way up to tier 11. So once we do that, I'll show you and then I'll end off the video. All right, guys. So I spent about 90k on two elite badges, so we could, cause I only had five for the set and you need six to do two of them, cause three for each. So we're going to get our elite uniforms now to boost our players up to tier 11, I believe, is what we're going for. That will make Byron Maxwell have 91 zone. So he'll hit the threshold, which is very nice. So that's going to help out a lot because both my corners now are, or both my outside corners are going to have that 91 zone. So we're going to plug the uniforms into the lineup and then have a final look at it before we end the video. So we got to go over to team items and then put on a light uniform and then the dark. All we need now is the tier 3 stadium because we have a tier 2. And we have all 12 tiers. I could turn the dark one into a color rush but I like this one just a little bit more. So we have tier 11 which gives us zone. And uh, it also give, gave us 1 plus catching, 1 plus route running, 1 plus tackle, and then 1 plus zone I believe were the boosts. So, we're, I'm trying to see if anyone else got boosted on the Seahawks, and no one did, so we're just going to keep looking. We're going to go hop over to the defense. Uh, Earl Thomas goes up to a 95, and Bobby Wagner goes up to a 94. Byron Maxwell goes up to a 90, and Sherman goes up to a 94. Shaquille Griffin goes up to an 81, and Sean Shedd goes up one overall too. So, here is the final look at our team. Still an 89 overall. I can't wait till they drop some new Seahawks cards. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Icon. Thanks.